And then the time stop. I know it's very difficult for a lot of traders to close a trade because every trade is emotional and everyone has such great potential. But derivative traders know the trading securities that rely on gearing like single stock futures and e ECFDs carry finance cost guys. You're putting down a deposit and the rest of that deal gets financed by a bank. Okay, now you guys are paying interest on that for overnight carry and that gets marked uh, to your account. You get billed. Now if you carry a stock for, for far too long, these costs end up costing you any profit that you might have made because you're funding roughly at about 7% per annum. So you really need that stock to recover 7% before you've even made that interest back. So carrying, clearly carrying a stock for too long costs money. But more importantly, guys, having your money tied up in a bad trade or a trade that's going nowhere slowly has opportunity cost. So you need to just cut the losers or cut the trades that aren't performing. Place the stop loss and get out if this trade moves any further against you so that you can use that cash for a better opportunity. I often get asked about a trailing stop loss. Now, not many platforms provide the ability to track it and, and a lot of guys make errors in, in placing the percentages on the trail. Uh, but first of all, let's explain what a trailing stop loss is. So this is an order that's adjusted as your trade moves in your favor. So this doesn't has this does not have to be automated. Guys, you can mo monitor your position, you can get greedy and just move your stop loss a little bit closer every single time. So as the trade moves in your favor, you just place your stop loss in your favor. And and generally a trailing stop would your starting point would be at the price you entered the trade anyway. So if you get a nice run or a nice rally in, in, in your trade, you can place your first trail at the point of entry. That way, the only thing you're going to lose is your brokerage fee. And as the trade moves in, you can lock in profits, lock in profits, lock in profits while letting your trade run a little bit more. Okay, so it is a nice way to get greedy with at the same time locking in your profits and, and not losing money or taking a physical loss as a stop loss. So these are known as profit stops as well. Guys, I hope that gives you a little bit of insight. I'd like to thank you, Robbie P from Punani Private Clients. Um, thanks for listening.